Hey what's up guys, it's Banu here from Android.com. The Huawei Mate 20 Pro packs a ton of features inside and not a lot of people are aware about most of these things. So that's why I decided to make this tips video where I'll be going over some awesome features so that you guys will know how to make proper use of this phone. So in this video, we're going to be talking about 20 awesome tips for you to make the maximum out of your Huawei Mate 20 device. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. But before that, in case you're new to my channel, smash that subscribe button right now and drop a comment down below and let me know your favorite feature of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro as well. And let's get started. The first tip is called scroll shot. Just like the name suggests, with it you can get longer screenshots. You all know that you can take a screenshot by holding the volume down key and the power key. But what you might not know is that you can actually swipe down on the screenshot preview and it will take a scroll shot. So a scroll shot is a lengthier version of a screenshot. So say you're in a web page, it'll be able to take a screenshot of the whole page starting from the top to the bottom. You can actually end the screenshot wherever you want and later on you can edit the screenshot or you can make any sort of adjustment you need to the screenshot as well. Also when you take a screenshot and just swipe up, it will open up the sharing menu so you can select any application from here itself and just share it across or you can just swipe it left or right to dismiss it. The second tip is called knuckle screenshot. In the first tip, I showed you how to take a screenshot on the Mate 20 Pro. In the second tip, I'm going to show you an alternative way. That's right, you can easily take a screenshot on your Mate 20 Pro by just tapping the screen with just your knuckle. This is supported on some other Huawei devices as well. If you use two fingers, it will start a screen recording and you can even use the mic to record the audio. So this is a great tool built into EMUI that is really useful. Not only that, there is also an option called Smart Screenshot where you can just circle around or just doodle around on the screen with just your knuckle and it will just select that part of the screen where you selected and capture that. And later on you can adjust the shape, you can select a heart, a circle, a square or just select it in free form. The Mate 20 Pro has a big notch to support Face ID but if you are not a fan of the notch you can actually get rid of the notch on the Mate 20 Pro by hiding it. On most other smartphones, what you can do is either enable or disable the notch. But on the Mate 20 Pro, you can actually customize on which applications you want to see the notch and which applications you don't want to see the notch. So if some application is properly optimized for the notch, you can actually enable the notch because it can actually make use of it. But if an application is not supported by the notch, you can easily go ahead and disable it. The next tip is screen navigation. So if you go under system and under system navigation, you can find a new option called gestures. We are all familiar with the three key navigation on Android and Huawei has also been using the navigation dock for a very long time now. You can think of the navigation dock just like assistive touch on the iPhone. So what are the new gestures that are available on the Mate 20 Pro? Well, you can just swipe up from the bottom of the screen to go home. You can swipe up and stop midway to open up the multitasking tray. And you can swipe in from the left or the right to go back. You can also swipe up from the right or the left side of the bottom of the screen to open up the Google Assistant. The first thing that I personally did when I got the Mate 20 Pro is switching to this gesture based navigation system because it's pretty cool. A lot of people who use my phone find it confusing but after you use it for a while you get used to it and it's pretty fast and convenient. Moving on to the next step, it's all about the always on display. That's right, the Mate 20 Pro has an always on display which is available under display options. So you can go in there and enable this and if you set it to be all day it will be available across the entire day even when it's charging or even when the phone is asleep so it will display the time the date and the battery life 
and it will be pretty convenient to have this. Unfortunately, the Mate 20 Pro doesn't have support for you to read messages right from the always on mode like other manufacturers, but hopefully next year around Huawei will add support for that. Right now, if you want to do that, you have to use a custom map. Moving on to the next tip, by default, the Mate 20 Pro comes with a light skin. But I personally prefer to use dark skins on my smartphones to preserve battery life. The Mate 20 Pro has an option for that hidden under battery. So there's an option called dark moon interface colors and if you enable that, it will enable a system wide dark mode. It's pretty great to use because it actually changes the look across all the applications. For an example, opening up the dialer, everything is all dark. Even the notification area is all dark. The next tip is a new feature that is available on Android 9 Pie that was introduced by Google called Digital Balance. So with this, you can track your lifestyle and see how much time you invest on each app and how much time you use your phone every day. This will even allow you to set app limits and it will even let you set a bedtime. If you go bonkers when you're using the phone, I think this is a good thing to use so that you restrict your use or maybe if a kid is using this phone, you can restrict their use by using a feature like this. It even has detailed stats to show how much time you have invested on each app. So that's pretty great. The next tip revolves around face unlock. We all know that the Mate 20 Pro supports facial unlocking by using a big array of sensors just like Apple's iPhones. But the best part here that I personally prefer over the iPhone is that you can actually directly open up the phone without having to swipe the screen every single time. On the iPhone, even after using face unlock, the phone will get unlocked, but you have to swipe up to actually open the phone up. With the Mate 20 Pro, you actually have the option for both of those. If you like to directly open up the screen without swiping, you have the option for that. Or if you don't want to directly open up the screen and if you really want to swipe up, you have the option for that as well. So the option is yours to pick which one you want to use. Next up, we are going to be talking about the intelligent experience offered by the Mate 20 Pro, starting off with high vision. With high vision, you can actually identify, for an example, I have some bananas over here. And if I scan the bananas, it will actually show what it is along with the number of calories and the approximate weight. So how it does this is it is able to capture a 3D print of what is displayed to the camera and it is able to come up with a rough value. And I think it's a great thing to use if you're fitness focused. If you tap on the result, it will even show a detailed list of all the information about each item and it works across a wide range of products. There are even more options like the shopping option where it can identify products and there is even a translate option which can live translate any text using Google Translate. Finally, there is even a QR code reader that is built right into the camera. One of the most attractive things about the Mate 20 Pro is the reverse wireless charging capability that is built into the device. So if you use two devices or if you have a device where you can make use of the reverse wireless charging feature, then you can enable this under settings and get the maximum out of it. Here I have my iPhone XS Max which supports wireless charging. So let's assume that the battery is low on this. So in order to charge it, all I have to do is just place my iPhone on top of the Mate 20 Pro and it starts charging just like that. In my testing, I found that in order to do the reverse wireless charging, the phones necessarily doesn't have to be touching. You can have a small gap in between them and the device that you're trying to charge will still be charging. This is easily the fanciest feature on the Mate 20 Pro. It is so amazing to see technology being used like this in great ways even though this might end up being a big gimmick because you really can't charge a big smartphone with a phone like this because it will end up taking a lot of time. Nevertheless, having a feature like this is amazing, especially with accessories now supporting wireless charging. Let's assume your headphones can be charged by using wireless charging. So in that case, all you have to do is just drop them on top of your phone and it will be charged. For little things like that, it will make a lot of sense. 
in the next tip, I'm gonna show you a built-in app lock that the Mate 20 Pro has on top of EMUI. So in order to enable this, you have some security verification that you need to do and you can set an account for yourself and you can enable both face unlock and you can use the in-display fingerprint scanner to access all the locked apps. So here we have a huge list of all the apps that I installed on the phone. So I can just enable it on one or two apps and next time when I open that application and the app won't open up without my authorization. I'm not gonna detail this much because it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to lock applications on your smartphone, you don't really have to install third-party applications because little things like this is built into the Mate 20 Pro. Moving on to the next step, let me show you how to identify a fingerprint using the in-display fingerprint scanner on the Mate 20 Pro. So you need to go into identify fingerprint and then if you just place your fingers, the fingers that you have enrolled, it will show which finger is which. But by any chance, if you try to use a finger that is not enrolled, it will not show anything because it is not enrolled. The Mate 20 Pro can support up to five fingerprints. So be sure to use all five and pro tip, you don't have to leave it as fingerprint 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can even rename it like thumb, index finger or whatever. Moving on to the next step, we all know that the Mate 20 Pro is a big smartphone. That is why if you have small hands, you will find the mini screen view feature on the Mate 20 Pro quite useful. In order to open up the mini screen view, you have to swipe diagonally on the Mate 20 Pro from the bottom and it will easily open up the mini screen view. So with this you can access all your applications in this small area and you can easily control the device like that. Next up let's talk about the motion control that is available on the Mate 20 Pro. With the Mate 20 Pro Huawei has bundled in a bunch of things like flipping the screen to mute or you can raise the phone to your ear to answer the call. Using the pickup feature, when you pick up your smartphone, it will reduce the ringing tone of the incoming calls, alarms or messages. Huawei has another cool feature called Schedule Power On and Off for the Mate 20 Pro that you can use to turn off the smartphone at night and turn it back on in the morning at a particular time so that you don't get disturbed at night. This is a pretty cool feature because you can set a specific time and it all happens automatically. Next up, let's talk about the phone manager app that is built right into the Mate 20 Pro. So with this, you can clean up and optimize your device and make sure everything is running smoothly. There is a great cleanup tool that is built into the device and it has a data usage meter as well for you to get an idea about how much data you're using. You can even block or unblock people from here and you have easy access to your endurance settings as well. Did you actually know that the Mate 20 Pro even features a virus scan? That's right, the Mate 20 Pro has a virus scanner powered by Avast built right into the device. So you can feel a bit safe when you're using a Mate 20 Pro. Next tip is the wireless projection feature. Last year with the Mate 10, Huawei introduced a PC mode, but that was wired. This time around, Huawei is introducing a wireless projection feature that you can use to connect to any smart device. I personally use a smart Samsung 4K UHD TV at home. So connecting to that is a breeze. All I have to do is just click on the icon and EMUI desktop will be launched. This is a full-fledged desktop mode that is powered by the smartphone wirelessly. And the best part is you can use your smartphone as the touch bar. So it's pretty convenient for you to use when you're sitting in the couch. You can even watch YouTube in the big screen without much hassle. Even though this mode is wireless, you don't really find much lag here. There are some extra options that are built into the device as well, like the doodling option, which is pretty fun to use. There is also a specific phone mode that is built into this, so you can mirror what is on your smartphone onto the big screen wirelessly and it all works great. Here's me playing a smartphone game on the phone and it gets mirrored on the big screen. What's even awesome is that even if you get a call in between the game, you can still answer the call, but the game will still go on. As you see right now, the call is still going in the background, but the game is playing. So you can answer the call on the phone 
but you can still continue to do what you were doing like for an example if you were watching a movie you can continue to do that pretty awesome with the mate 20 pro huawei removed the dedicated monochrome sensor that was there on the p series of smartphones even though the sensor has been removed the monochrome mode is still present under the camera options so even without a monochrome sensor you can still take some nice black and white shots you can find the monochrome option under settings and it is available for you to check out and play with. While we are talking about the camera, drop a like and share this video and let me know if you would like to see a dedicated camera video where I go over all the camera features of the Mate 20 Pro just like this. The Mate 20 Pro also has something called lock screen covers which you can access by swiping up from the bottom and it has support for voice memos, flashlight, calculator, stopwatch and the high vision mode. It always gives you easy access for you to do anything you want. Finally moving into the last tip, let's talk about the magazine covers. On the Mate 20 Pro it has a bunch of covers for you to pick from and you can update this list or you can select or remove any category that is available here as well. You also have the option to favorite any picture and if you press on this lock button that is on the left hand side it will make one picture just stay every single time but if you want the picture to change every single time you have to press on that lock button again and then what will happen is every single time you open up your device you will see a fresh new wallpaper that is awesome. Well guys that's it for this video I hope you guys found it useful if you did definitely go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now and drop a comment down below and let me know your favorite tip and if there is anything that you would like to add definitely drop a comment down below with that as well definitely share this video with anyone who's using a Huawei Mate 20 Pro or any other person who might be using a Huawei flagship this might definitely be useful for them. So um, stay tuned to AndrewDaw.com for the latest from the tech world and definitely follow me on social media because that's where I post all the behind the scenes and updates. I am at AndrewDaw and all the links are given down below in the description. Until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu, signing out.